If you were lucky enough to serve in the Soviet army, you probably held a standard issue bayonet in your hands, and surely you wondered why it wasn't shot. Commanders usually explained that it was to prevent self-injury, but that's not the real reason. In the times when firearms were just emerging, the bayonet served as an effective close combat weapon. The reloading speed of rifles was high, making it more efficient to stab the enemy in close combat. Some bayonets were nearly half a meter long. Over time, firearms became much more effective, and close combat became less and less common. Therefore, long bayonets became obsolete. The bayonet for the AK-74, which we are accustomed to seeing, is an improved version of earlier models, taking into account all the mistakes. It was introduced in the mid-1960s and was used with the AKM assault rifle. When the AK-74 was introduced, the bayonet was not modified, and its production continued until the late 1980s. Seconds. This bayonet is not only a cold weapon, but also a versatile tool. It can easily cut through wire used in engineering barriers and even saw rubber, as thin as a little finger, not to mention tree branches. Thanks to the plastic coating on the knife and the sheath, it can even cut live wires. This bayonet can also be easily transformed into a hammer. So, why wasn't the bayonet sharpened by the manufacturers or in the military? The reason is that when it is used as a close combat weapon, when it is attached to the rifle, its main purpose is to stub, not to cut. The blade, although blunt, together with the weight of the rifle, can pierce the enemy's gear and penetrate their body, resulting in gruesome tearing wounds. The steel used to manufacture the bayonet was not originally intended for shopping, and even if it were shopping, it would quickly become dull. Therefore, the only reason it is not. Shoppen is its intended purpose stubbing rather than cutting. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Well, I'm off to search for new interesting and unusual facts. This was Dadanite. Thank you too.